the Travel Flirts. Welcome to our channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, welcome. <laughs> Today we um, got some little tasty treats. We went back to our favourite um, Oriental store. It's called MD Oriental Market. And we've got a selection of savoury and sweet delights just to share with you quickly. <laughs> Right, shall we, uh, I think we're going to do this one first. As you can see, it says macadamia. Where's it from? You have a look. Uh, let's take a look. They have so many different snacks there. I mean, they're absolutely wonderful. So, spoiled for choice, really. Mm, not sure. The writing looks sort of like Japanese-y. Japan. There you go. And then you can see the back, which we do try to show the back as well. Yeah. They're all really authentic products and imported. This is that Maiji company that puts out a lot of products like pokey sticks and those types. So these are, look just like the chocolate coated. Um, we'll find out. Macadamia. Let's just open them. Break it into the box here. I'm trying to do it so I can share it. Oh, I don't know if I can. Wow, this is hard. Keep it on. It seems to be stuck in here. I might have to break the box. <laughs> Trusty scissors. There we go. Oh wow, it's like stuck in here. <laughs> They don't want you to get it out, I can tell I think you that. the end, end pieces are stuck in there. There's a little bit of, uh, it's funny, yeah, you artwork on even how to open that thing. It's funny. Although why that would be useful inside, I don't know. <laughs> so, it's in the tray. Sealed. It looks like one piece lid, so once you open it, it's open, but it's a tray. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. Although, like, Candy in the little. There we go. Look at them glistening in there. Isn't that how wonderful? Right, Mel, would you like one? <laughs> sure, I'll take one. They look kind of like seashell on the top. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and we go. Quite large. <laughs> it's almost all chocolate. Mm. Chocolatey for sure. And in the tiny middle is a tiny piece of a macadamia nut. Mm -hmm. It's quite milky chocolate, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's the top grade chocolate either. It's that the one that you get in the. I think it's a very good chocolate. It's smooth. It's not bitter or anything at all. It tastes nice, and it's like I said, but in the middle, that macadamia is quite crunch. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice crunch in the middle, but a lot of chocolate flavor. You get nine of them. It's pretty good. I give them a four. I like it. Yeah. I think they're quite good. I. The good thing there's only nine. It'd be something you'd eat the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet or savory next. Well. Maybe we'll do these. I, I don't know what these were. They were kind of interesting, but um, I'll show them to you. It just says honey. It shows some kind of biscuit. And there's some, some lady there. Where are they from? Well, let's see. It looks more Chinese. -y. Korean. Oh. So in the back, it shows Korea, parts of Korea back there. So I like the little... Um, I like the little bee thing. That's cute. So are these honey? Well, that's the only thing on there. And then you could see, show them that lady on there. You get close. It's like a really old photo. Yeah. Black and white photo image of a woman who, maybe that was her recipe a long, long ago. That's a really old photo. Let's open them up. I don't know what they even, like, are they biscuits or something? I don't know. Maybe just, like, lose a finger. 
I don't, I'm not sure. We'll find out. It looks like almost like pretzel, but I'm not positive. Oh. I'll take one out and we'll see. Yeah, you can see there's a, a whole wave of them in there. Hmm. Little biscuits. There we go. That's cute. That's just like a little cube. Yeah. That kind of looks pretzel looking on oh. the outside. Wow. They're very crunchy. Definitely mm. honey. And so cinnamon. Something. Hmm. Have another one. Don't mind if it's very here. different. Mm. Kind of slightly eggy cracker. Mm hmm Very light flavor of honey, but not that sweet at all. They have a hint of like oil, like they've been cooked in. Oh, it um, does have cinnamon. I can taste cinnamon. Yeah, I don't taste much there. Uh, very light flavor. <laughs> but, um, oh. I'd probably give them oh. two. I don't think they're very enticing. I mean, you could eat them. They're crunchy. You could just chip on them, but flavor's kind of, meh, meat. Mm. To say the least, so. Yeah. Not my favorite. I like it needs more flavor to it, maybe. It's more crackery. Definitely. Yeah. Hmm. Well, those are okay. Not too bad. I would say I wouldn't probably get them again just because the flavor is too... Yeah, it's not even like a true meat. like honey flavor either, is it? Yeah. No. It tastes very... Mm. Yes. Probably a one or a two from me on that one. Yeah. We have to look for some. What have we got going on here? This one looks fun. This one is a. Uh, it says pea cracker. If you can see the artwork mm -hmm. at the bottom more, but there's like a grill. You can see they're like grilling beef on the a, on the grill. It looks fun. There's a beer. <laughs> some kind of drink. Is it a beer? It's a beer. Yeah, and then um, there's, it says pea cracker. On the back as well. There's a, a barbecue grill on the other corner. Now let's move you the right way. <laughs> right there. <laughs> She's staring me. There you go. There's the barbecue grill with the beef, and you can see a little bit of the. It looks like a twisted corn. Mm -hmm. I guess they're like the image here. They've got a chopstick holding that. Yeah, it's a Taiwan beer. So, like in, in uh, America, you have like, what's it called, beer nuts or something that people drink with beers? Is that but right? They're, they're, yeah. So, maybe that's the same thing, but only this is a little twisty snack to you have can with the beer. See the little glass of beer down there. With that, and then oh, there's the twist. Up. So, you know, it's a pretty big bag. Feels pretty full. It looks like a twisted corn image, I guess. We'll find out. All right. Yeah, twisted corn snacks. Normally, these have lots of flavor on, don't they? When they're twisted like that, because we'll find out. What are we need? Green corn snacks that are, looks mm. like some kind of beef flavor. Oh, they go. Wow. Mm. Mm. I don't know if it's going to focus on that, to be honest with you. No. <laughs> okay, too close, bro. Um, mm. Wow, a lot of flavor. Mm. Tastes like a rare steak. I mean, it really has this instant a lot of garlic, herbs. It's not spicy or anything. They are great. They would go perfect with a nice cold beer as well. Absolutely. They're really beef flavored. Mm. I mean, it tastes, tastes really like, like mm. steak. Solid five, absolutely. For a pea cracker. Mm. They are great. <laughs> mm. Those those are good. Oh my goodness. I think those are real good. I was looking at an image on the sign. It's out of my reach, but I don't know. Oh, it's like, Where are they from again, you say? It's a Korean. Korean. Okay. I wasn't quite sure. I was like looking at this little image here. It looks like some lanterns or something. I wasn't sure what it was. Mm. Um, oh my goodness. I can't stop. They taste mm. like a nice rare steak, don't they? 
I bought five on those. Go get mm -hmm. those. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the name of them. But you can't miss that grilled meat in the beer. <laughs> Pea cracker. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, those are good. The final thing we're going to do. These are interesting looking. Strawberry flavored. Um, little rice. Baked rice snack. That was it. The cute little image of a cartoon character. These are a um, product of Taiwan. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, she's she's grabbing her strawberry. How cute is that? So they're they're probably a puffed rice type thing. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll find out. These are pretty reasonable, and the market actually had these buy one get one free. So hopefully they're good. Because <laughs> we got two packets. Of they have all this little fun party stuff at the top. You can see. Yeah, little. Mega Ooh, I can smell them from here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of strawberry smell. Some of the other things we tried like this were uh, like freeze-dried strawberry, which... Oh my goodness, they're adorable. I'm just mm. going to pick up. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. They're little heart-shaped rice crackers. They got quite a thick coating on them, a bit stodgy or like dense on the outside, or kind of thick. Oh, like it was meant to be dryish, but it's not too dry. They literally are a rice cracker. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. They're like eating air. They do dissolve in your mouth, but they do have a. They smell stronger of strawberry than they taste of strawberry. I think. Yeah. They're like a, yeah, definitely like rice because it's really like non existent almost. Mm hmm. They're not too bad. They're more of a milky, mm. like milk powder maybe with strawberry. Definitely. Not sure. And then coated around the. Mm. I'm going to give them like a three. They're not my favorite. Maybe a two for me. They're too faint. I yeah, mean, it's a uh, shame because they really smell. Mmm, they smell lovely. Yeah, but they are pretty faint. Maybe I mean, if you don't want a lot of strong strawberry, they're probably okay, but they're pretty quiet flavor. I wonder if we, you know, had the, the beef ones first. Maybe it's overpowering. <laughs> but no. Mmm, okay. oh. so, I like them better than the honey one. Mmm, so I was going to say, favorite? Gotta be this one. Definitely the the beef spiral peach chip crackers. Mm -hmm. Next, I think that chocolate is where to go with the macadamias. Those are really good. A lot of chocolate flavor. You get a good amount for that. Yeah, that's the macadamia one. I would do those. And then honey ones, me. Do the strawberry. strawberry next for sure. And then the honey. I would probably favorite. flip those. I mean, if you just don't like a lot of heavy flavor, these are okay. But yeah. Not much flavor. Lovely. Well, that was nice. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the little review we just did. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you did like it, hit that like button, uh, ring the notification bell. Uh, we will be producing more videos as we travel around our local area. And uh, thank you for coming. Uh, please subscribe, it really helps. And uh, once again, we're the Travel Flirts. Thank you for watching. Bye now. Bye.